Hey, this is Frank Taylor coming to you with Nature in Your Backyard. Today's uh, Saturday, April 4th, and I'm going to piece together some videos um, to talk about this story. Um, I always like to tell you the date because what we're doing is we're following spring through the seasons. We want to see what we can find as things bloom, as things come out, and as things uh, uh, progress and evolve during the springtime. You can see that um, springtime up here in Floyd at 2,700 feet, there's not a leaf on any of these trees up here, but I can tell you that my pond is really active. And today we're going to look at uh, um, what I found when I was collecting with my net. And while there's no leaves out on the trees, you can see that there's a lot of activity going on here in the pond. In an earlier episode, I talked about these newts that are here in this pond and why they're here. They're here to reproduce. Um, they're in their adult life stage and they're looking for, uh, males are looking for females and they want to mate and lay eggs. And I want to show you what I found in just one or two net grabs, as I would call them. I went into the pond with this net here, and all I did was reached out like this and pulled that net in, tearing up some of the stuff on the bottom, and then I'd look inside and see what I found. Well, there's so much life in this pond. This is what I found in just a couple of netfuls. Um, all kinds of amphibians. We've already talked about these guys, and if you haven't seen my video on the eastern newt, you should take a look at that. And I'm going to let this guy go back in the pond. And just in two or three netfuls, you can see how many um, amphibians I found and how active the pond is. Even though it doesn't look like a lot of activity in nature going on, there's uh, the trees don't have a leaf on them yet, but boy, there's a lot of activity going on in my pond. And so I'm going to take these newts out since we've already talked about them and talk about the other amphibians that are in my pond. Here's one more and we'll let our, send our last newt back into the pond. See you later, buddy. So what have I got left? I've got some tadpoles here and a couple other things that I want to show you. So these tadpoles, let's look at what stage they are. So tadpoles are amphibians. Amphibians are organisms that um, live part of their life in the water and part of their life on land. And so these tadpoles will develop into frogs. And these frogs, I can hear them at night. And as we watch... Uh, for frogs and tadpoles throughout this year, I'll be talking about what kind they are. But for now, let's talk about amphibians. So the frogs come to this pond, just like the newts do, and they lay eggs in the water. The eggs hatch out, and we have tadpoles that hatch from the eggs that breathe through gills and also probably through their skin. And... Uh, uh, take in oxygen in that way. So they're completely aquatic just like a fish. But as tadpoles uh, uh, grow, and most of these are, are plant eaters and they'll feed on algae in the pond, and you can see a lot of green algae along the edges uh, here in the water that is great food for these tadpoles. And we're gonna watch these tadpoles throughout the year. About once a week, I'm gonna come down here, take my net, um, toss it out there, pull in a couple tadpoles, and see um, how they change over time. Another interesting thing here is uh, this. there's a bunch of sticks on the bottom of my pan here that's walking around. Can you see those sticks moving? That's a bundle of sticks. Well, let's go see what we got here. So I'm pulling it up. And you can see there's an opening on this side and there's a little guy inside there and this is a caddis fly and a caddis fly put together this case with sticks and glue and silk threads like a moth or butterfly might have and i'm going to put him back in the water and see if he'll come out 
So there's a lot of species of caddisflies here in the water. They live as a larva uh, in, in, in ponds and in streams. You can find them both in ponds and streams. This is a, 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 a pond species. And you can see him starting to come out. And the front part of him is kind of like a hermit crab. He's got a exoskeleton that's pretty tough and strong. But the abdomen of him is all the way back in protected by his stick case and stuff. As he grows, he'll add more and more sticks to that case. Eventually, he'll be full grown and he'll pupate inside that case and then he'll emerge as a flying caddisfly. Yeah, you can see him actively. You can see his head and his front legs there as he's trying to find something to grab onto and pull around. Yep, there's the caddisfly. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I had a great day here at the pond, and I'm going to stick around and enjoy it. So today, to review, we, I came down here to show you the stage that the tadpoles in my pond were in. And we're going to watch those tadpoles as uh, the season progresses. And we'll watch them change, and we'll follow their changes all the way up to a frog. And so I'm planning to come down here each week to do that. Then, of course, we found the newts again, and if you haven't seen my newt video, go back and look at uh, my posts on YouTube, and you can find my videos there by title and by their description. And today, as a bonus, and this is why I love doing live video and why, why I love nature, you never know what we're going to find. And while I came down to find tadpoles, I unexpectedly came across those cool caddisflies. So this has been Frank Taylor with Nature in Your Backyard. We'll see you in the next episode.